Tuesday morning, everybody. It is March 30th. So, Saturday we cut all that wood. I was tired. It's more work than I've done in a long time. <coughs> Sorry about the sun. So, Sunday didn't do much. Cut a little bit of firewood up back, back here. I was hoping I'd be done, but the weather's getting colder. So yesterday, Monday, came home from work. I was in bed by 8 o'clock. Bam. Oh, I slept really good, which doesn't usually happen on a Monday. Usually on Mondays, I don't sleep good at all. But anyway, Monday afternoon, me and Miss Tammy came out here and made some birdhouses. She made a couple of them Saturday with the grandkids, and she had boards left. So we made three more, three more birdhouses. And then we went to TSC and got some fence posts and some sunflower seeds. Hi, honey. Okay. And uh, chilled out. And, uh, well, I got a new wedge and uh, some bar oil. And uh, then we just chilled out the rest of the night. Didn't make it to the fire station for the meeting. So, oh, she, look at this. She's actually doing something on the grill. First time she's touched anything on it. Well, my grill came with the chef, which would be you. I kind of like it. <coughs> So anyway, went to work last night and got home this morning and it's like, I'm hungry, are you hungry? And she said, yes, chunky girls got to eat. And I said, me too. She says, what do you weight. want? <coughs> she said, how about some corned beef hash and eggs? I said, sounds good. She goes, are you going to cook them on the Blackstone? I said, I'll go heat it up. You get stuff ready and bring it out to me. So here we are. I'll just pretend, some, I'll pretend like I know what I'm doing. Going. We got some homegrown eggs from the kids. So yeah, we'll be I think we'll I'm going to need good. to buy a permanent salt container and a pepper grinder to be out here. What do you think? Kind of down there? Seasoning? It'll get, uh, yeah, but it'll probably get stale. As much as we're cooking on it, you think the pepper and the salt is going to get... Okay. All right. We don't cook eggs and bacon and sausage and any of that in the house anymore. Yep. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking maybe, maybe I'll make it smaller. Okay. All right. Well, time for me to get busy. Oh, she's going to try it. Oh, too soon. I don't feel like it pressed. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be, nice and crispy? Yep. Actually, turn that end one off. This one? Yep. Push it in. Nope, the other way. There the other go. off? Yep. Got it. You don't need that one on. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna cook some breakfast and probably go to bed after that and uh, get up this afternoon and we'll drive some steaks in the ground for the birdhouses and get them mounted. Yes, please. They come out nice. They're pretty slick. And uh, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll insert a picture of the kids with theirs about now. Oh, they had a blast. Hopefully that came through, so we'll catch you on the next one, or we'll catch you later this afternoon, so, bye. Well, good Thursday afternoon, everybody. It's, uh, is it today the third? 
second. I don't know. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Snowed all around us. Seen people coming into work this morning from up Sandusky area and stuff like that. Snow all over the cars. Seen some Snapchats from people. Bowling Green. All around that area. People getting snow there. So, I just looked at the thermometer and it's 32 degrees here. So, I need to get the I need to get the mini started and go up and uh, cut some firewood. Hopefully the old girl starts. She was in the heated garage all all winter. So uh, this will be look at this. Talk about close. Watch how close that. Yeah, a quarter of an inch. All right, well, will we get lucky? Let the glow plug cycle. Started right up. Good deal. I have to turn the heat on in there. All right, we'll see you up to the wood pile. Well, I pulled a big old hunk of maple. All these pieces, huh? It was, it was about, well, you can see all the ones off of this side and all the pieces I took off of this side. So she's a pretty long tree, long stick. But boy, that chain is cutting crooked and it's getting worse. So we're going to, I don't remember hitting anything with it, but we're going to take her in and touch her up won't take much to touch it up now if you don't let them get too far out of whack it doesn't take much to touch them up so we're gonna throw a quick touch up on that chain and see if we can make it better big sticks like that it is when it shows you start cutting a little crooked and then it'll bind up so you guys have seen me sharpen <laughs> you guys have seen me sharpen chains before so we well, am gonna shut this off and I'll touch her up quick and then we'll be back out there all right let's see how we did Yeah, sharpening that chain made a world of difference. Boy, she really cut good then. Really cut good. I mean, it wasn't cutting bad before, but it was curving. She was binding up. So, yeah, I touched it up, and uh, she's ripping again. Better than new, I think. Um, the, the, the edge on a new chain is maybe a little on the conservative side. And uh, they probably do that for... So it wears a little better and you file it down sharper and it's a little thinner and it don't last as long, but boy, they cut good like that. So anyway, I put the mini back in the barn, pushed the, most of the saw, most of the sawdust up into my pile. I'm going to have to get rid of that. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, so put the mini away, put the, saw back in the garage. Let's see how this is going. Oh yeah. 
70 degrees a few days ago and now it's 32 when I came out here. So, there's going to be a power aid out of the refrigerator in here. And uh, one house kick back. Tammy's making spaghetti for supper. That sounds delicious. So, uh, I gotta clean the garage out. It's Easter dinner's out here. I did bump the heat up a little bit. So, bump it up a little bit every couple days and it takes a little while for the floor heat to, to come up to temperature. It's not like a furnace where you can, you know, turn it on and an hour later it's up to temperature. And it takes a little bit. So I just bumped it up a few degrees and uh, I'll do the same thing tomorrow and probably Saturday. Get it up about 65 in here. So if you do it all at once, then it just burns nonstop and you'll burn a ton of wood. The stove will be empty when I get home in the morning. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I know there wasn't a whole lot in this one, but it's just that's what the day was. So uh, hit the like buttons. Subscribe. Hit the little bell notification. That way you get uh, notified when when I uh, post a new video. And uh, hit the like button and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.